Hello everybody, welcome to Equals and Alternatives, episode 54. I'm your host, Mike McConti, and today we are reviewing Vodka Tonic. Two of them. Um, before we get into the show, I'm shirtless. This is the first Equals and Alternatives. We're outside, we're battling the elements. If the wind isn't too bad when I listen to this, I won't have to reshoot it. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I have 10 minutes where I can productively get a tan, and so I'm gonna take those 10 minutes and, and multitask. Um, and also prove that I actually do lift sometimes. All right, equal to two cheeseburgers from Burger King. Now, calorically equal, when we're talking about, when we're comparing alcohol versus proteins, carbs, fats, very different. Um, all right, you guys, my vanity and desire to get a tan just can't outweigh your audio experience, so we're gonna film down here. It's super messy in my apartment, I apologize, but I'm gonna hurry, so let's get into the show. Two tall vodka tonics. Let's say you're out for drinks, a drink on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night, you get a vodka tonic, it's a tall one, your friend just had a bad breakup and you're consoling him or her, um, and having one of these, what's going on? Eight ounces of tonic, three ounces of vodka. So a double or a, a tall um, is gonna have two shots, 1.5 ounces in a shot glass, three ounces in here. It's actually 550 calories would be about six ounces. This is eight ounces, four ice cubes that were quite a bit bigger before they started melting upstairs. Um, but so somewhere in the 260 to 300 calorie per drink range is what we're working with here. Equal to two cheeseburgers. Like, you guys would never go out and shoot the shit over cheeseburgers if you're trying to lose fat, trying to get stronger. I mean, maybe you would. Maybe you'd fit them in your macros, but probably not. Um, what we need to, what, what's important to look at here is the fact that one, tonic water is very, very different than soda water. So let's pull out the alternative right now. We're saving about, like between 150 and 200 calories depending on how much mixer is going into these drinks by using soda water rather than tonic. And I think that a lot of people assume these two things are the same. So that's saving you 30, 40% of your calories right there. The other change I want you to make is don't get a double. Like four ounce or four shots of vodka on a work night and you get the second drink because you, like, you've been hanging out, you're consoling your friend about the breakup and whoever comes back by, the bartender comes back by and asks if you want another one, you're not ready to leave yet. Yeah, we'll have one more, we'll risk it and drive or whatever you're gonna do. But just keeping alcohol down is going to keep calories lower, which is gonna help you move towards your goals. It's gonna allow you to sleep a little bit better. It's going to um, prevent overeating late at night, right? Like the little more buzzed you are, the more likely you are to go for whatever cookies are in the pantry or whatever ice cream's in the freezer. Um, yes, you can absolutely drink and make progress. Let's go a little deeper here. So I, last episode I said we were gonna start going a little bit deeper than calories and macros for those of you who are interested. Um, you can absolutely drink and make progress. For the last 10 years of my life, since I was like 17 or 18 years old, I didn't start drinking until after hockey season of my senior year because I was so bad at hockey. I was just very afraid of getting cut from the program entirely. Um, so I thought abiding by the rules would help me. Anyway, um, completely lost my train of thought thinking back to like being a really shitty athlete. Um, since then, for 10 years, I have binge drank on the weekends regularly, like through college, after college, there were periods in there where I cleaned it up and didn't drink as much, but like going out with friends and drinking between six and 12 drinks on Friday and Saturday night and still building muscle, still losing fat through that process by doing a few things. Now, you probably know that you can keep carbs and fats a little bit lower during the day, keep free veggies high, protein high, to continue to stay in a calorie deficit while enjoying some drinks, maybe not six to 12, but some. Um, what you're probably more curious about is the impact that alcohol has on things like muscle protein synthesis or uh, hormone levels and recovery, right? If you go work out and then like on a Friday after work and then you go out that night, how much is that hurting you versus how much is it hurting you to be training hungover? Um, 
the, the limited research that exists on the subject, and there, there are a handful of studies, actually say that if you're not binge binge drinking, like if you're in the five to seven drink range or lower, muscle protein synthesis probably isn't that impaired, meaning it probably makes more sense to get a good workout, have a good meal, have a bunch of water, and then go have drinks, rather than get drunk on Friday night and wake up and try to have a really good training session when you're dehydrated, you're groggy, you got shitty sleep, your testosterone is temporarily decreased by a pretty substantial amount, like 25% for the next 12 to 16 hours. Um, so I would suggest work out, then drink, then sleep, water, recover. Um, so that's our, that's our going deep tidbit. I'm still sweating from being upstairs. Anything else? Question of the day. Oh, what, what are the macros and the alternative? If we go one shot of, if we have two drinks and they're both low balls and we use soda water, that's 200 calories versus 550 calories. You can still get a little buzz on those two drinks. You still have the same experience. You're much more likely to stay on point for the rest of the night, have a better sleep, wake up, start crushing it again tomorrow. Almost 200 calories. That just means keeping carbs 30 or 40 grams lower and fats 8 to 10 grams lower throughout the day. You can do that. That's easy. Maybe even less than the numbers I just said. Um, question of the day. Did you know that, be, be super, super honest, and I really want everyone who sees this to reply and just say yes or no. Did you know that there was such a big difference between these two? Like when you thought of vodka soda and then you thought of gin and tonic, did those sound like the same thing in your mind? Or did you automatically register, wow, one has another 100 calories per glass and the other doesn't? Did you know the difference between tonic, and gin, yes or no. Remember, your body is still counting macros even if you're not.